you know. Some, th there's some fucking dude looking at me. Now, I personally enjoyed God of High School, like, a lot. I think I enjoyed God of High School, like, probably more than I should have. You know, like, some of the emotional bits in God of High School, like, with Davy's friend, were, like, some... Like, it really affected me somehow in a weird way, because, I don't know, like, you know, the battle with cancer and how he wants to save his friend, basically. Like, it, it, it gets to me, man, it gets to me. And I think Davy is actually one of the better characters in this anime, considering that most characters are kind of cliché, but I don't know after his friend, you know, he, you know, but also one of the best parts of this anime are the fucking fights, you know, this, that, that is why you watch this anime, the fights are beautifully animated, and I mean, honestly, they're really, really great, with some hiccups here and there, you know, where, you know, they go into a strike and it sort of doesn't follow through, but it, they, they sort of go through to, to the other side, I, I don't know what's up with that, but mostly speaking, the animation is really fucking fantastic, and the fights are hype as fuck, you know, especially the fight in episode 10, I believe, where it's not the, the big Biggest fight uh, of the anime of this season, at least. Come on, dude! Like, oh my god, I, I got goosebumps at that fight. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Can I be honest? Now, as I said, I think I enjoyed this anime maybe even too much. That's why I'm immediately just gonna get it out of the way and um, give this anime a nine out of ten when it comes to personal enjoyment. But this anime comes with a lot of downsides, and I mean. Uh, <laughs> a lot of downsides right now the biggest problem with this anime is how generic everything is and personally i think the biggest problem are the villains as we have two villains we have the the dude who wants like a lot of power and we have the cult which also want power they have like a single layer of depth but that's not really much you know and the second thing that I think this anime kind of lacks in is, in fact, that power that they are looking for. Because the power that the people have, they're kind of random, I'm not gonna lie. And I think with the power system that is in this anime, they kind of actually ruined the fights in a way, which is kind of sad because the fights are really well animated and they have amazing choreography. But the thing is, whenever the powers get involved, I kind of, it's like, mm, you know, you have these these moments where you just want this super, super fucking impactful, like this, this, this fucking punch that like goes through the dude and just, you know, you feel the impact and it's like, ah. Oh. But then you get this dude whose ultimate attack is he summons like seven fire foxes. Like, like, dude, just use fucking Google Chrome. <laughs> and I think another part that is lacking in this anime is the character depth, as all of the characters are generic, let's face it. Like, they're very, very generic characters. And this isn't helped by the fact that the pacing of this anime is so all over the place, right? Like, it's so fast. Like, in one episode, especially the wedding episode, the wedding episode, I mean, come on, dude, like, Th those episodes are really trying to put layers on these characters and build these characters but instead what they're doing is creating a sort of rushed mess basically as that episode that with the wedding is my least favorite episode in this entire anime right some of the character backstories feel kind of random and you know the motivation to fight is there at the beginning but it sort of disappears as the characters either lose their goals or prove their goals and then they don't really have anything to fight for anymore they just sort of fight one thing though that i can actually praise this anime for is how it set up the second season like the biggest the hypest fight was you know at the end and then you had this reveal and what whatever the fuck was going on and at the very end the, this this first season was actually concluded and then you had like, oh, look at this, it's a cliffhanger that is gonna be continuing in the second season, right? So it was a conclusive season, which I really liked that it was, as opposed to some other animes this season. And then it's gonna continue in the second season, and which I hope is gonna expand on uh, the, all these questions that I have for this anime, because a lot of it makes no sense, especially the powers that they 
borrow from the gods like why are the gods involved at all how can they borrow this power it all seems sort of like a big ass pull especially when they get the powers because those were the moments that i disliked the most in this anime as i said the fights are amazing i thought that this should have been just fist fights basically just this should be just martial arts you know that you have like this guy summoning a jester then you have uh guy summoning a cross then there's literally god himself coming down and just together with the pacing it doesn't really make a lot of sense to do it this way even though the comedy here and there is is kind of good i liked it i know the, the characters are charming but really lacking a lot as well as the story and the world building is kind of all over the place especially like how, do, do people know that chariok exists like do they do they actually know it because I'm confused because like when the fighters came into the the ring first and they saw the powers they were confused like what the fuck is that right but th th there's an audience there they they, they kind of didn't give a fuck right now I do gotta say I'm giving this anime when it comes to its recommendation rating a 7 out of 10 because I believe it's I believe that a lot of people will enjoy it, but I think that it's just in the end a sort of generic shonen and that maybe you can find better shonens than this one. And honestly speaking, when it comes to the final score, the critical score, I'm actually inclined to give it a strong 5 out of 10. You know, for every good thing, which are the fights and the animation, you know, you have some things that are really bad and it sort of balances out at a five and i'm i i really really want to enjoy this anime like you saw the title of this video like everybody actually wants this anime to be good because it's hype as fuck you know like it's it's nice the characters are charming and it's beautiful but the writing is just not really there and i'm hoping that in the second season they are actually gonna address some things and clean this up as i will watch the second season so there's gonna be a review coming up for that too so yeah i, I don't know did i miss something you know you wanna you wanna, wanna make a discussion you wanna discuss this anime yeah just leave it down in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content so yeah see you guys next time